Mostre e morta. Division Bell. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his wrestling with Bear. <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay, it sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. It looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh, nice elbow.
nice strike. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Side control now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Nice hammer fish. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And fight numbers for you now. 29 total strikes to now. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. With oh! And they separate. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Nurmago Medov going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big knee there. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh! The is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. So there's the horn, that means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two.
does his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, big knee. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Double leg takedown lands. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're... Oh! Oh! Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes for the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice hammer fist. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Slashing elbow from the clinch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmagomedov. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, massive knee up top. Back and forth we go. Big knee there. He engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. That was a thudded leg. Oh, oh good kick. He's really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Seconds. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transition. Good things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, take a seat. Breathe, relax. You are fine. We expected a bloody fight. We knew this was going to happen. We expected that war. Refocus, 
All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Big kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just a slip there. And there comes the separation now. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by Nermago Medal. Again, back into this position. Oh, set up to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Back and forth we go here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He gets to a spot, the Thai crew. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Big kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Body kick now by Numago Metal. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Beautiful strike. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Good punch, Lance. They continue to exchange. Nice leg kick. <laughs> oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, blocks the shot. Punch over the top. to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick. He's driving them into the body. Good one. That knee might have landed there. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Another nice knee there. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, 
What are you What are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's near you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added knees to his game, he became even better. Why don't we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Single collar tie now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut range. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Got the single collar tie, and now they are throwing both sides with conviction. I know Javier Mendez is sad. Habib likes to go southpaw at times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's a very good striker, and as he gets more comfortable in the octagon, he will continue to show. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, big elbow. Nermago Medov gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. This lands. Now he gets back to range. Wow! Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Sure, his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Elbow lands for him. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right under the elbow, the body kick now. Liver kick. Great punch. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you have gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbow to the side, because otherwise, you're gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right? Because the more it starts to split and the blood starts to go into the eye, it not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, oh! he's got him right here. Single collar tie here. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Here he is back in the clinch. Oh, put him to sleep. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen it off, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes.
and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the Octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by Knockout Assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate.